Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Thesis Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what I'm going to do is to give you an explanation about the Thesis U, how we can connect using Moda City, all the things that we need to know. So, let's go to the presentation. So, when we, if we want to communicate the Thesis U with a PLC, we have different communications protocols available on the unit and for that we just need a car in this video what i'm going to do is to give you an explanation how we can use the Moldva serial car which is this one over here and how we can communicate that to a plc this will be just an introduction on this and then we create a video for each particular plc that we have in a schneider list so let's go here to the presentation so what we need is to have an advanced um, base that will allow us to have the communication card so this communication card that i have here is white the new one is in black um so as soon as you put this on the test ECU, do we have some terminals over here that depend on the complete selection of the pro that you have selected you can use it or remove it and have the other one that is directly connected to the unit um, so if you're using for example our plc that has the rj45 connector we have the solution using a cable so we can use this kind of cable in order to connect and that's it okay if you want to have multiples test issue you, you may have this LU9 um, uh, Modbus Hub that allows you to connect different thesis or Modbus slaves in the network. So once you have that configuration and you connect the device, you should be able to see on the front that we have three LEDs. So these three LEDs will give us information about what's going on with the unit. So basically, if you have the one in the middle, which is for the error flashing and you don't have the communication you just know that uh, there is a communication loss over here that probably is not showing but here you have it so we have the loss of communication on the Modus network so if everything is well okay we should be able to have the communication flashing and the 24 volts over there you know so this is just for you to give you an idea that we have some LEDs that will allow us to indicate what's going on with the unit. Then, this is just a characteristic of what we have. So, as I mentioned, we have the terminal, but we can replace using this kind of unit. So we have it directly connected. Here in the bottom, we have the possibility to energize the, the model itself, the communication card, and also the auxiliars. And in the bottom we have this uh, communication port with this the RJ45 so in the bottom part we have the connection with the unit with the thesis island base thesis U base and then here and almost in the back we have some switches okay here in this part bro you're not able to see it but depend on the selection of the switch we assign a slave address okay so that is what we need to know about this unit just plug and play over there and that's just before the plug is the selection of the address then if we don't want to use our Schneider cables you can create your own cable okay but you just need to know as a, any standard modus communication we just need to use three cables number four number five and the eight um, and here you have some definition of which one could be because depend on the PLC or device that you're going to connect to the master. Probably have plus or minus the one, the zero. So this is a given idea. But if it doesn't work and you have configured everything well, so probably swap the cables. That will solve the problem if you're pointing to the right address. So if you follow some of the communication manuals, you have like a basic idea how to read information from the thesis you. Um, this is sort of the main thing so you can configure 
uh, how you're going to react after a communication. Okay, then you have the possibility to control if you're going forward or reverse. If you have the reverse module in the TCU part, then you just need the possibility to have the system status, and then on the status you also have the warnings and fault messages and code. Um, so this is for the uh, advanced uh, control unit, the multifunctional, the one that has a display. As you may know, uh, today is the this year is 2024, so this discontinued the functional, the multifunctional um, control unit. In that control unit, you have a lot of information, but if you use the advanced, you should be able to access to this information at least and a few other informations, but. Uh, that will allow you to, at least to control the tests you over communication and read and configure some of the parameters. Okay, so um, the Bible here is this document uh, that basically has the communication manual that give you the same information I give to you, how we can configure the unit using the the switches that we have in the back part. How we can assign the the communication the uh, sorry the voltage on the terminals okay and certification of these LEDs then you have multiple architectures but the basic are the one that I give to you if you have one to, one to point one point connection here then you should need to check the terminal resistor and then if you have more you can add this with this Schneider cable depending on the distance and everything and so on but this is just the overview then what i want to do is to show you how to control this with different plc's in schneider electric so um thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one